while Google was a very nimble company for its size, it was still a huge company, whereas now I'm working with businesses with 5, 10, 20 people. And we can have an idea on a Monday, uh, test it on a Tuesday, agree to roll it out on a Wednesday, and by Friday, uh, it's the new standard operating procedure. And you just don't see that in big organizations. I think it's really hard for the average startup to break through. I think more than nine out of 10 startups never go beyond uh, wasting the money of their friends and family. Uh, so I think the real breakthrough is where you have an incredibly strong idea that really addresses a pain point that's uh, experienced by the customers you're targeting, a clear understanding of who that target market is, and a great team that can execute. I have great sympathy for people who are having to keep up with the enormous pace of technological change. Uh, I spend most of my time doing it and I can barely keep up. But I do find real value from a couple of great blogs and newsletters, from uh, going to events and chatting to people, and also from, from showing up at demo and pitch days where some of the smartest startups are sharing their ideas and distilling down months of work into a five minute pitch. You used to have this task of going online. Right? You'd go and log on at lunchtime or at the end of the day. And when you did that, it sounded something like this. Does anyone remember when you could hear the internet? <laughs> so when you could hear the internet, the internet was largely static text-based web pages. When it got a bit faster, you had images. When it got faster still, videos online. Faster still, and you've got movie streaming, and now multi-party high-definition video conferencing. And with each step change, and you can see here how speeds increase, with each step change of speed, we've seen amazing new innovations, new companies, new services. But we don't know what's going to come when the internet's another 10 times faster. And 10 times faster's coming.